Everyone, make sure that you're being safe. In this video, we use fire. So make sure you get help from an adult. What's up, guys? Today we're gonna be lighting stuff on fire. But before we do anything, make sure you have a bucket of water nearby to put out the fire afterwards. So we're gonna go over the basics. So like what kind of kindling you would use, how to set up your fire, and just like what kinds of fires would work best. So when starting a fire, first thing first is finding your kindling. Now kindling is what you use to start the flame and to get the fire big enough to start the sticks and the logs on fire. And up here at camp, we have quite a few good sources of tinder. We've got a lot of dry grass. We have birch bark, which is actually probably one of the best sources of tinder because it will also light when it's wet. So if it's raining or something like that, you can always rely on this to start your fire. We have a lot of old man's beard and a lot of red pine up here as well. And all of these are really good for starting your fire. Probably a lot better than, than uh, paper would work. So just look, look for these when starting a fire. So the first fire they're going to be going over today is called the teepee fire. And it's really good because it's really easy to make and it produces a lot of heat. So it's really good for when you're camping. So first off, uh, you need to place your kindling at the bottom. You can use dried grass or any of the other stuff that we talked about earlier. I just like to use a, a random assortment of everything. It works really well. <laughs> and then after you put, place your kindling, you just put a lot of smaller sticks on top, kind of uh, all angled up towards the center of it. So it forms the TP shape. And just slowly get bigger and bigger sticks. And uh, then afterwards, you can light it. Oh, where's my lighter? Hold on one second. Cool. And then after you've gotten enough wood, you can just light at the very base of the fire where the kindling is so that the flame will travel upwards and catch everything else. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's a pretty easy fire to do. And you can always blow on the fire if you want to get it going a little bit faster once there's a good enough flame going. And yeah, it should catch. So another basic but useful fire to know is called the lean-to fire. And what you do is you use a log, or you can use a big stone if you want, and you put it in the direction of the wind, so it blocks all the wind from where you're gonna place your kindling and have your fire. And uh, yeah, it's just a really useful, useful fire to know for in windy situations so that you can still actually light your kindling and for it to stay lit. So the last fire that we're going to be talking about today is called the log cabin fire. And it's a really good fire for if you're trying to cook anything because it provides a flat cooking surface as well as it burns a lot slower than a teepee fire. So you won't burn whatever it is you're cooking. Uh, so to make a log cabin fire, it's pretty straightforward. You just lay two logs flat on the ground and then you alternate the way that you lay them so that you create a log cabin shape. And, uh, and then after you've reached a certain amount of logs that you want, you stuff kindling in the middle of it, and that's what you use to light, and then your fire should start up really well. Well, thanks guys for watching my video. Always remember that when your fire is going to put it out, every time you don't put out your fire and you leave, you make Smokey the Bear cry a little bit inside.